I think the story of generative art and its roots with computer art are, are pretty, uh, have been told and are pretty well known at this point. But I do think that uh, the roots of AI are a bit less known. Uh, I think most people, their, their initial, uh, their initial kind of touchstone for AI art is, is Harold Cohen in the 70s. And then there's, there's usually not much more before or after that until, uh, you know, the last 10 years or so with GANs. Uh, but AI art, like a lot of digital art and computer art, really began uh, with the ideas of cybernetics and, uh, and, and that is really applicable to AI art too because it involved how machines could learn through feedback and uh, and so the so cybernetic theory and cybernetic art of Norbert Wiener that goes back to the you know even the late forties and Max Benson in the sixties was was really important in this development and and then you know Harold Cohen in the seventies with his with his uh, development of Aaron and and that expert system was was really important but then I think again the uh, there were developments in the 80s that don't get enough credit, like from William Latham and, and what he and Carl Sims were doing with evolutionary art and how that tied into the story of, of uh, AI art. And, and also Scott Draves as well with what he did with, uh, with his electric sheep algorithm uh, that really at the end of the 90s was was starting the kind of AI art as we know it today that involves a lot of big data and uh, machine learning and and then again following in the following decade a big advancement was something like ImageNet where you're really starting to have uh, machines be able to learn to the point where they can categorize uh, you know and uh, categorize images just based on seeing them so I, I think that that history is really interesting uh, and, and a, a bit less well known even than some of the, the kind of traditional uh, generative art history.